and welcome to another exciting episode of Data Protection Dialogues. My name is Jacob Serpa. I'm a Senior Product Marketing Manager here at Zscaler. And our topic today is how to secure unmanaged devices. And I think this is a really important, really relevant subject for us to discuss because of the way that unmanaged devices have grown in prevalence over the last several years. And in particular, They've grown very sharply in prevalence over the last year and a half as organizations have shifted to a remote style of work as required by the global pandemic. So again, this is a very relevant, very important subject for us to talk about. And I'm very excited about the two experts that we have to talk about it with us, Moinal Khan and Mark Lueck. Moinal, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thank you, Jacob. Hi, my name is Moinul Khan, VP of Product Management here at Zscaler. I'm responsible for data protection portfolio. Awesome. Great to have you with us today, Moinul. Mark, please introduce yourself as well. My name is Mark Lewick. I'm the CISO for EMEA at Zscaler, and uh, I'm a 25-year security practitioner. Uh, and my role here at Zscaler is to help our customers uh, not, not deploy or, or configure the platform, but really understand how to consume it and how to really manage risk using our platform. Perfect. Good to have you with us as well, Mark. So as I mentioned, our topic today is how to secure unmanaged devices. And I think a very natural starting point for us is to ask the question, what are unmanaged devices? And what are some common use cases that are causing challenges for IT organizations? I think we all come into this conversation with a bit of a preconceived notion on what BYOD really means. And I think that a lot of organizations have had this, this uh, interplay of, of tolerance and understanding and have been setting policy. You know, BYOD is banned. BYOD is allowed. What are we doing? We're controlling it, et cetera. It's use, usable in certain cases. But what I find really interesting is that in this race against the risk of unmanaged devices, I think we're not, we've not really been aware of the fact that we may have lost that race already because it's not just about policy. The decision to use BYOD is not as simple as just prescribing it and banning it because knowing that it's banned is not the same as knowing it's not being used. The problem here is, of course, our definition, just what exactly is BYOD? It's not just a home PC. Very interesting. Moinal, what would you like to add? Yeah, I think I think very similar thought. I mean, you know, BYOD is not just someone's personal Mac or iOS devices. From IT security perspective, when someone takes a managed asset and then shuts down their uh, VPN client, all of a sudden that device becomes completely unmanaged, right? So that is the most common unmanaged asset that you know IT has to deal with. And then of course, you know, the personal Mac, personal iOS, but also uh, you know, um, uh, when employees are, you know, having fun with their family, all of a sudden uh, they are accessing their cloud applications, cloud assets from their spouse's device. And, and that's another classic example of unmanaged assets, accessing corporate assets. You know, I like to think about um, the way our employees and our users access uh, the corporate tools. They're a little bit like water. They will always find the way and the easiest path to get done what they need to get done. And with the destination of business traffic being less well-defined than it used to be, and certainly it's no longer exclusively on your network, BYOD is going to be a challenge no matter what your policy is. Yeah, I think that's a good analogy with the water and, and the flowing there, Mark. That's that's helpful. And uh, Moinal, it definitely sounds like things are uh, more complex when it comes to unmanaged devices than it might seem at first blush. So I think a helpful uh, route to go from here is to double click to dig a bit deeper and ask a question specifically about security, namely, why do unmanaged devices matter for security? Thanks, Jacob. I'm going to go a bit left field here, right? And it, it's clearly a matter of trust and risk. You know, this, this is uh, you know, sensitive business um, operations happening in an environment which you don't control. That's the obvious answer. We've had controls protecting our devices for a reason. They, they exist. And I'd like to point out that security friction, which we often see as, uh, as, uh, as the equivalent of a hangover. I mean, it's the unwanted side effect of the good elements of security actually has some really good values as well because it makes our users and our, our, our people stop and think and make decisions in a little bit slower, more measured way, take a balanced approach to decision-making. And what happens to a user when they're using a device which isn't part of their normal work uh, life, the context switches and people's decision-making switches and people's decision-making 
often becomes far poorer. So it's not just that the device is riskier, although that's clearly true. The mindset is completely different. And I want all organizations to take that in to their risk calculus and make sure that that's assessed because just putting controls on that device may not be the answer. Moyle, what's your perspective? Yeah, I, I can add some color to it. Um, you know, when, when these unmanaged assets, they're showing up on your corporate Wi-Fi, um, you know, you have the full visibility what these devices are doing uh, because, you know, their traffic at the end of the day is egressing out through your corporate security stack. But the, the challenging part is when these devices are completely remote, then problem number one is you have absolutely no visibility. When, when users are using these devices, using your Salesforce and Office 365 application, massive amount of download is happening. And, and most likely these are your corporate assets. These are your corporate data. And then tomorrow employees leave the company, they walk away with your sensitive assets, right? So, so visibility is the first problem. And then the second problem is the data security part of it. And then when the data is getting downloaded on these devices, then you are also breaking a lot of uh, you know, uh, regulatory compliance. So you have compliance issues. So then we've talked a bit about what unmanaged devices are, some of the concerns they cause for IT organizations and specifically how they relate to uh, security and how they present some challenges when it comes to protecting your data. So I think the million dollar question here is, how should organizations secure these endpoints? I think, you know, I'm an old school guy, or at least I started that way. Uh, and and uh, my intent for a lot of the time in the organizations I was trying to protect was to try for equivalence, aim for equivalence of controls, make sure that the same controls or the same type of controls are on there. And posture assessment has taken us a long way towards being able to trust a, 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 an unmanaged asset. But of course, that posture assessment is simply a point in time. And asking people to to implement the you know a certain set of controls voluntarily or as in order to access those corporate assets, you're still asking them to own that control to have control over that uh, that that uh, configuration. Can you really trust that device? And uh, yes, it's better, but I don't think it's really in a point where you can trust a device, no matter what set of equivalent you know, equivalent controls you put in place. But I think there is a better way of protecting these devices. And that is that the commonality between a managed device and an unmanaged device is the path, the, the network path that it takes to access your sensitive data. So protecting that data path, that becomes a much more efficient and I think a better way of protecting this and, and, and protecting against this risk. Yeah, that's definitely helpful. Moynil, uh, what would you like to add? And maybe can you give some extra color on the technologies that are used to secure unmanaged endpoints? Sure, yeah, I have a couple of recommendations. First, uh, do not uh, you know, allow your users to turn a managed asset into an unmanaged asset. Um, you know, if you are using Zscaler, Zscaler client connected on the devices should be always on. They should not be able to turn it off uh, because if a uh, client connector is always on, then all their traffic is going to come to Zscaler cloud and then we will be able to inspect it. Uh, second, um, try to build a culture around your company where you know, employee understands that you know, their personal devices need to be somewhat managed if and when they're touching corporate assets. If someone is using their personal Dropbox account, IT should not look at that traffic. But from those devices, if someone is connecting Salesforce application or Office 365 application, which is your most critical asset today in the cloud, um, uh, you know, it's, it's okay to manage the devices to some extent so that you have full visibility, you have some control on the device. Now, if that's not possible, uh, then uh, you know, the, the traditional approach out there is use a reverse proxy so that you can redirect the traffic from application to your corporate proxy. My recommendation is stay away from reverse proxies. Reverse proxies break cloud applications. They're trying to redirect every single SSL connection. Implement something that is more creative, that is more effective, Things like browser isolation, if you isolate the browser, uh, when users are accessing this application, that then you have full visibility and you can control that browser session. So as we uh, wind down here and come to a close, any final words of advice for our listeners about how to secure unmanaged devices? 
Yeah, I think, you know, I think uh, uh, especially post COVID, uh, you know, uh, my suggestion for IT is pay attention to these devices because they are out there. Everybody is working from home. Everybody is working remotely. And, you know, um, for sure, once in a while, they're using their personal devices to connect to their cloud applications. So uh, we are seeing a lot more BYOD devices nowadays, and you need to make sure that your data is not at risk. The data is secure. I guess my advice is around the policy decision making that we've we've made. And for those of you out there who have accepted the risk of, of uh, unmanaged devices and we're allowing that access, I assume that you've got a set of controls that makes you more, more comfortable and that you understand what you're doing. Great. But my advice is really for those of you who have got a policy that says, no, we're not going to allow a BYOD or unmanaged devices. And here's the advice. The advice is that you may have made that policy, but they're still out there. So ensure you're assessing that risk, that you understand what an unmanaged device really is and where they're accessing your corporate assets. Mark Moynel, thank you both so much for your time and expertise and guidance on this subject. Really appreciate it. And thanks to those of you who are listening today. So if you'd like to learn more about data protection and perhaps how Zscaler can help you protect your data, be sure to visit zscaler.com slash DP. And thanks again for watching.